For more than a hundred years, Canada and the U.S. have relied on the Great Lakes system as a critical economic hub for trade and export. The Great Lakes-St. Lawrence Seaway system is made up of five lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway. It connects thousands of communities, ports, provinces and states with domestic markets and to markets around the world. Each year, 145 million metric tons of goods and products, your goods and products, are transported along this system. But above normal precipitation is causing record high water levels across the Great Lakes, damaging ports and communities along this important trade corridor. Each Great Lake contains billions of liters of fresh water that drains into the next, as the water flows toward the St. Lawrence River and to the ocean. But during the last year, governments have relied on a single dam, the Moses Saunders Dam, to try and lower water levels on Lake Ontario. This dam can only lower the lake by a few centimeters before it risks draining upstream municipal water supplies and flooding downstream communities. Higher outflow of water from this dam also causes fast-moving currents throughout the St. Lawrence Seaway, which impacts ships. To safely navigate, ships must follow additional measures that cause delays and lost business and cost the wider U.S. and Canadian economies $2 million a day. Some politicians keep asking for even more water to come out of the dam, which would force shipping to stop on the St. Lawrence Seaway. This would severely damage the American and Canadian economies and negatively impact thousands of jobs. If other forms of transportation could even be found in time, it would likely result in thousands of trucks on our highways. Controlling the outflow of water at a single dam cannot fix the problem. Smart solutions for managing record high water levels are desperately needed. Politicians and all affected stakeholders need to work together and look at all potential solutions. We have ideas that can help. Visit our website to see our recommendations.